everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily, my grade is two, and this is my second grade homework. I will first start with this big poster. And this is the starting, it's about, the teacher told us to do a homework about a president, and I choose George Washington. And this is the starting, it's all about George Washington. I got four facts on here, and George Washington tire code is about the story on here. Washington did not have children of his own. It's about George Washington when he was married and uh, over there Washington was appointed as commander of Quantor Army in 1775 when it was about a military war. Then this one is the first president's chart when he became and the revelation. On here it was a Washington Amazoli elected president of the United States twice. It's about he elected once and twice. Under here it said Washington never cupid the White House. So when Washington became president, he was actually in the brick house. On here, Washington said this Washington lost more battles than he won, but this leadership helped him secure American independence. And this one, Washington was a quietly regus man. It's about Washington actually is a regus man too. And the last one, as Washington's privately founded the United States Navy. So this is like the war too. And this is all about my poster for my work. Also, I found this information from Google and now I'm going to do the next one. The next one is Dragon of Tackles. This is it. Our teacher told us to do it about a story review. This is actually the story review. It's like a meat part and then the S W B S done. And inside there's like information like a taco. So, but this story was called Taco of Charlie's. And this is like a fake letter to the dragon. And this is actually the cool word in there. And it's like the fire. Inside, we did a report that is fake. Like, if it's real, this will be a real report. And inside, actually, there's three pages writing like an article, or if you see, see on the news. So then, it's a, like a real one. But like you said, on Tuesday evening in 19th block of Cabney Avenue, mobile fire department to respond a four alarm house fire. It's like when you start a newspaper, it will look like that. And we made this dragon with spikes. It's with the words in there. There's a gigantic, sizzling, crunchy, crispy, hated, love, crunchy, cr crispy, sizzling, and angelic. And this is for this one, this one's homework. Now, I'm going to move on to the next one. My next one is this one. It's called Secret Origins. It will tell you Paula about me, but you won't know the answer. The answer is on the back. It said, I'm in Miss Candy's class, second grade class. My teacher is cool. He let us line in order. I'm the 15 one. And then, this is like we in Secret Origins. He told us to draw this. And somewhere in the back, it would have my name on it and my number. And this one on the front, actually, you have all of these. And this is where you draw something. And this, this is this paper you write on. It's called Secret Origins because you're going to figure out the person, but it won't tell its name. And this is Secret Origins. I'm now going to move on to my next one. And this is my next one, a bunch of paper homeworks. The first one is called The Lioness. It's answering questions by finding them in a paragraph. This is synonyms and antonyms. Synonyms are, antonyms are words that have opposite meanings, agree, disagree, or antonyms. Synonyms are words that have almost the same meaning, cold, freezing, or synonyms. This is prefixes, suffixes. It's mean like, Pre means the beginning of a base word. Pre before the game. 
what's the meaning of the word train er? So if you train er, a person who trains, because er means train the person, and that is for prefixes. And this one same for the lioness. It will have like you answer the question and you find them in here. This is a game test we did for fun. And on this one, it's a math solving problem. You do it like that, or you can do it like this. So this is actually just math doing, and this is still prefixes full and less. So if it's that, I am full of thanks to have such a lovely family. It's thankful because it's a full of thanks. So you're very thankful. And this is all the pile. Now I'm going to move on to my next one, which is called Molly Lou Melon Stand Tail. This is about a girl in a story. She is very small, and inside there's vocabulary clip. Proud. Be pleased with you meet missing you having done. This is called Lee. Feeling great or happiness, and this third one is called fumble to do something in a nervous or clumsy way. Somersault, somersault is doing a flip. The last one, which is called revolt, to make, to show or make something know. This is a vocabulary key. And before it, it's a little poem. It said, "It's not what you are called; it's what you can do." And said, "It's a pucky dude beaver with some called Molly Lou Melon." In the story, it said, "This is what in her story is called Molly Lou Melon." Take out her pennies, stack them ten high on her teeth, and smile as big as day. The second one is called Fumbled Fingers. Molly Lou Melon believed herself and juggled dishes on a insect coil on a tight rope. This one said, "Folks sounded like a bullfrog being squeezed by a boa constructor." And this is what it said: Molly Lou Melon stand out clear and strong. And the whole world cries tears of joy. And the last one, called Shimpu. When the ball game turned, and Molly Lou Melon caught the scared tough down. And these are the same. They're just good advice about it. And for this one, you write a letter to encourager you have. And this is answering questions, and at the side is a I promise, and you write your name on the bottom. This one is just about your personal information. This is my Molly Lou Melon. It looks like this. It has flowers and these pretty things on the front. And now I'm going to move to the next one, which is my other poster. My other poster is this poster right here. I have not been finished with it. It's a I choose Ron Herbert. It's about make about a Mary's toys out of Texas, and we need five information. I did two, so this is one, two. So I have two. I have more to do on this one. This one is basically like this. It said on here, students will research a mayor or governor of their choice outside Texas, Texas. Students will record five facts and explain why they were a good citizen. Students will find two pictures of their person and glue them in their homework folder with their facts. And in this folder, which is going with that poster, it said writing picture prompts. And you go like you will complete three choices. You can go like this, 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 this. You can go like whatever, but you have to done three. One of them are how to write a to create 
cutest person scarecrow. This one is, what is your favorite hobby? Would you rather eat a pumpkin pie or apple pie? And the next one, that spelling word homework tic-tac-toe menu. Tic-tac-toe, you know how to do. You need a tic-tac or toe. So you can choose if you want to do, you got mail. Use 10 spelling words to write an email to your teacher. I bet you would even get an email in return. This one is cartoon creator. Create a cartoon using spelling words. As the character talk to one another or you tell what is happening, you are underlining your spelling words. As almost the last one, this is spelling homework. You just spell the words and do a tic-tac-toe. These are the spelling words you have to do for a month. And then this part, it is writing menus, same as the front. And then the rest are writing paper. So this is my homework folder and for that. And that is for it for my school homework. And bye!